We love music in our home. It's just a part of our daily lives. There's always somebody somewhere, even daddy here, even Josh, who uh, will be playing an instrument throughout the day. A lot of the times I have to be like, okay guys, wait till after school or whatever. It's just, it's there's we're used to the noise. We're used to a lot of noise and it's a good thing. Um, and a lot of people will ask, you know, if we grew up with musical instruments or in musical families, and the answer on my side is yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you? <Yeah. laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, but I grew up uh, with having both parents sing and play the piano. Um, my mom could be a professional pianist and she also can read music really well. And she's also um, a very gifted vocalist. And so, uh, and so is my dad. And so we grew up singing at church and, and uh, taking piano lessons, which I did not like. And my mom let me quit that when I was little, just for the record. But I did not enjoy piano lessons at all. I didn't enjoy learning how to read music. Um, we would travel around a church to nursing homes, um, to different organizations and sing as a family. So it was, I remember like kind of liking it and kind of not as a kid, I don't know, but I knew it blessed the people uh, that we were there with. So it was worth it. We didn't do much. We, I mean, we sang like in, when we went to church and stuff. Yeah. But we didn't, we didn't, we weren't made to do much in the way of instruments. My dad played drums. That's right. Yeah. He was, <laughs> I he was a drum that. player, um, but we didn't grow up in, in the house with much. We did have a drum set and there were some drums, but they were just banged on more so than. I have yet to get a drum set. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. There was an attempt at playing some things, but nothing went very far. Now, there was a little bit of a shock. Okay, when I joined in to the McElroy family and I was at, I don't even remember whose birthday party it was, but the first time I heard the McElroy sing happy birthday to somebody, I was like, what is happening? Because it was crazy. In my family, you know, you there's four part harmony, <laughs> people are singing, you feel happy, <laughs> you know, like you're smiling, everyone's singing and enjoying it, and you're, you know, blessing the person whose birthday it is. And then you go to the McElroy's house, get the recording of it so they can listen to this. And we have a recent recording from Grandpa Schilling's uh, 93rd birthday. This is what they did to their grandpa. Okay, let's see. This is love. Right let's, here. okay, play it. They did a good job on that one. So that's the difference, okay? <laughs> so at some point you just own it and you decide, okay, I can't control these people. I can't teach them, you know, and they do it on purpose. And I know that <laughs> they're not bad singers. Like Josh, they can all hold a tune, but they try with all of their might to make it sound awful. So like I said, uh, I took piano lessons and I stopped that um, as, as a child. I didn't like it. My mom was gracious enough to let me stop. And then as an adult though, I saw the need to know how to play the piano. I, you know, I wanted to be able to use it for worship. I wanted to be able to teach my children. I wanted to be able to do all these different things. And um, so I retaught myself as an adult. And then we had kids and I don't remember the ages of everybody, but I tried teaching, I think Julian and Marie, I sent them away to do piano lessons for a little while. And they they enjoyed it. They loved their teacher, but they didn't love reading music just like I didn't love doing that either. And um, some time passed, we stopped doing music lessons. And then we were down in a um, friend's house in Oklahoma. They shared with us one of the family philosophies that was to encourage the kids to play music by basically having instruments and the ability in the house. and. The idea behind that was that if you had uh, a certain instrument in a house that they, that they might pick it up and play it. And so it was more of just a um, statistical chance of having an instrument in a house and then that they might pick it up and play it. So we kind of took that approach. It got to the point where we just started to have more instruments in the house so that they could play them and pick them up as they kind of had a desire. So now we have some pretty crazy instruments. And just to touch on that again, you know, our friend Pat told us, you know, if if the instruments aren't in the house, they're not gonna play them. But if you kind of have them in the house, um, 
then they're more more likely to go try it out and see. And when you push those things on kids, not that I don't believe, I do believe in making kids, you know, learn self-discipline and learn how to do things, even if it's not their favorite thing, whether mm -hmm. it's George or whatever. But with music, you have to like it. You have to like it and love it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a chore that you don't want to do. And so we kind of, we saw cool. this in people's, you know, in other people's lives and their families. Um, and so we're like, okay, how do we start doing this? And, uh, you know, it was as simple as when we were visiting our friends in Oklahoma, the Montgomery family, that uh, I think Marie had her guitar, or had his guitar or something, mm -hmm. had Levi's guitar, and I think Levi showed her three chords, I think, how to play, and that's how it started. And so I like to joke, you know, that it just started with friends and three chords um, for Marie, and that's where it all blossomed into just like, she's, she's amazing, you know, and uh, not just because she's my kids, it's just uh, she loves what she does and she's learning new things all the time. Um, I think so, the other thing was making it fun. They made it fun as a family. It wasn't like it was a chore that they had to sit down and do something. Yeah, was, you just joined just in, yeah. even if you didn't know how to play. I mean, like, okay, so it, I had to, like, get over it because, like, we were over at their house and, you know, their kids are amazing at playing instruments. So they were all playing their instruments. But my, we didn't know, you know, uh, you know how to play certain instruments. But the kids were just getting that that triangle, you know, and hitting it egg real shakers. hard, and egg shakers, and guitars, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. They just picked up something, and nobody cared. They just encouraged them to play. And that meant so much to us and encouraged us to where, and has brought us to where we are now. Okay, so let's talk about what instruments we have and who plays what. And this changes all the time. So this is what's happening right now. So first we have the harp. We came across, Julianne had seen some friends, um, two different households um, with uh, young ladies who played the harp. She loved it. And so we ended, we went on the search for this harp, you know, at a used <laughs> instrument shop locally here. We walked in there, Josh was looking for a guitar, I think for Marie. Yep. And just said, hey, by any chance, do you have a harp? And he's like, as a matter of fact, I do. It's way in the back. It took him like a week or two to get it out of the back. But it ended up being a beautiful high-end name brand instrument that we weren't, you know, we didn't know anything about that at the time. But it ends up, it's a beautiful harp. So we quickly added that yeah. in. And so Julianne plays the harp, the penny, penny whistles, the piano. And I think that's Julianne. Yeah. Marie, um, like I said, started with guitar. She also plays the penny whistles. She plays the banjo, the mandolin, and piano as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, they've all, I have not pushed them on piano. I just let them kind of decide if they wanted to do that. And so far they're all doing it. Okay, Elise, um, her most recent instrument is the violin, which is really fun and that she can kind of join in with the big girls. Um, she also plays the piano. William is our box, box drum guy. Uh, he likes playing the box drum. Josh actually made our box drum. The cajon. The cajon. <laughs> it's a box drum. So Josh made that, and so that's kind of a special instrument in our house. Um, he wants to learn guitar, and the olders do do help, are you know are beginning to instruct the kids. Um, I'm learning how to play the guitar from Marie. Marie is teaching me, so I only know like three chords. Josh knows some some guitar and stuff like that. So even the children can teach the adults. Like Tabitha right now is learning how to play the harp from. Julianne, which is so cute and sweet. It's just so cute. Jesse is along for the ride, you know. <laughs> he messes around. Oh, Will plays the, a shofar, the, the, too. The, the shofar. I didn't say William plays the shofar, yeah. which I know is, most people aren't like used to that, but it's pretty cool. So, um, did I leave anything else out? Oh, we have a bass guitar. No one's really picked that up or gotten it. Yeah, Marie uh, Marie has done the electric guitar yeah. as well, but she we haven't done the bass guitar. So probably, maybe Once again, though, it's probably because we don't leave it hooked up. That's it might be one of those things where if we left, if we left it hooked up. We just don't have enough space. We're going to run out of space. We'll have to make a music room. Yeah, someday. So anyway, I think that's what everybody's doing. Again, you're never too old here to learn mm -hmm. new instruments. I I know how to play the piano, but I, I would love to learn how to play the guitar fluently um, because that is a portable instrument and there's something um, valuable to that. So anyway, I think that's what everybody's playing. on this I don't know how to play all of the instruments that are in our in our home but 
the children were able to learn how to play these instruments with maybe just some musical assistance from me uh, or from grandma or from a friend, you know, down in Oklahoma or whatever. There, there's tidbits of information to be able to kind of get the starting point. But honestly, these things can be learned off of YouTube instruction and different DVDs and, you know, learning tools. I just want to encourage you that just because you don't play an instrument yourself or don't feel musical, that doesn't mean you and your children can't learn to play something new. It may take a little more time, it may be a little bit more difficult, but you'll be able to do it if you put in the time and the effort. Yeah, the Montgomery's even, they, they encouraged us to just figure out something and play it and take it from there. So even if you know two, three, four notes, then you just And the guitar play with it too. It. Yeah. And you just, you gotta start somewhere and you don't have to be so overwhelmed by Oh, I don't know how to read music or I don't, you know, fill in the blank. I don't have an ear for this or whatever. You just have to start and begin to train yourself and train your ear and, and it'll come. It will come with some hard work, just like anything else. You put in the hard work, you'll see the benefit of it. And I'm so glad that we've had that opportunity with our kids and with the musical instruments that we have in our home. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and help support our farm. Hit the button below. <laughs> that says subscribe and hit the little bell that's off to the other side. So if you've enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, which is right down there. And that will just notify you of any new videos that we come out with. All right, see you later. That's a good cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs>